All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Course Creator Community Podcast. I am super excited because we have an absolute rock star in the course creator space here today. And I know I say that about every guest every week, but this person actually is a rock star. Listen to um, to her bio here. She's attracted over 100,000 student enrollments in her courses in over 168 countries. I didn't even know there was 168 countries in the, the world, but this person's managed to, uh, to get students from every one of them in her courses. She was listed by the Huffington Post as one of the top 50 must-follow female entrepreneurs in 2017. She's had her course creation work cited in Forbes. She's a 12 times published author and five times international number one bestseller. She's the host of the Course Creators podcast, and she holds the record for being the youngest university head and director in Australian history. Uh, and it wasn't just some dodgy university. That university was ranked number one in Australia at the time of her leadership anyway. So without further ado, let me introduce the one and only Sarah Cordner. Sarah, how are you? Oh my gosh, we have been threatening for years to get on a podcast together, do some work together. So at last, I think it's probably been about seven years since we've been going, yeah, we'll make that appointment work. So here we are. It's pretty exciting. And um, it's just listening to you do that that intro then that I may have written myself. <laughs> it's, it's actually just sitting here, my eyes are going, my goodness, we're recording this now at the end of December 2022. And I probably wrote that a few months ago, maybe closer to the beginning of this year. I now have over 200 hundred thousand students in my course in 181 countries and millions of dollars made and it just goes to show how quickly and rapidly growth can happen when you are out there creating courses creating digital products taking stuff out of your head getting those ideas and just putting them out to the world the growth is phenomenal john i remember when i sat down thinking right i'm going to go online i started off really traditional doing face-to-face -face training working in corporate offices working in corporate training rooms you know, I could only fit like 30 people in a room, 50 mm. at most, and speaking on stages where some of the biggest stage I spoke on had a couple of thousand people. But you know, that was really the limit, the size of the room. I remember getting this huge piece of butcher's paper and sticking it up on my window and writing, I think it was by 2011 or something, I wanted to have, um, no, it wasn't 2011, it was 2020. By 2020, I want to have um, 1,000 students in my courses. You know, that was my big, that, Whoa, 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 whoa hold on. That was what? That was in 2020? Uh, I think I wrote it before 2020, but my goal was to by 2020 oh, gotcha. have 1,000 students in this platform. And um, yeah, here I am now at the end of 2022 with 200,000. And it just goes to show that whatever you're dreaming of, I think whatever people sit and think is po is possible online, I think you need to times it by 100. Mm. And or, then two, or, 200, or 200 in your case. Right? <laughs> right, right. And I just want to point out, you know, that none of this happened. I didn't have any startup capital. Um, I live in Australia, but you can probably tell by my accent, I'm a pom. I rocked up to Australia with quite literally an empty suitcase <laughs> full wow. of bikinis in winter. I had no backup money. I had no investment money. I took no loans. I had no friends. I didn't have a mobile phone. I didn't even have anywhere to damn well live when I arrived. I've done all of this from a spare bedroom, pretty much in, in, in the middle of nowhere. I, I live way outside of a city and um, it, with an internet connection, some real just passion and a refusal to quit like proper Australian um sorry Australian entrepreneurial stubbornness right is really the only ingredients that you need just consistently hitting at it and I know Johnny that's really something that you live by you know you and mm. I've been colleagues in this space now for su such a long time and you know you've just never stopped and you've got your success that you have because you just keep going <laughs> that's right? half that's it, right? it. just yeah <laughs> just let everyone else fall off and then you know you, you're in it long enough and, and you'll win the game that's it yeah so we've got some exciting stuff to talk about today uh, well I'm, I'm even more excited now so hearing that i'm like you know what i might have to because just for the people listening um what we are going to speak about today is Sarah's actually got a, a course platform, Tech Matrix. It's an all-in-one business and course creation platform. So we're going to be speaking about, or we're speaking about platforms in general, but with a focus on that. But after that intro, I think I've got to get you back on again, Sarah, and just speak about your journey and and how you've sold 200, or have, um, enrolled over 200,000 students in, what's the, the total time frame? Uh, well, that's been collectively probably over the last six years. So yeah, it doesn't well. certainly hasn't happened overnight. And it's funny, if you do look at the statistics there, you know, it was like, oh, one person, yeah, oh, yeah, five yeah, people. Yeah. I, then there was just, you know, I kept going, kept going. And suddenly it hits this tipping point. It just went, 
yeah. through the roof, you know? So it just, it's testament to that consistency. I think where you hit that search engine optimization because you've created such a huge culmination of resources that eventually the world starts noticing. Um, and that's honestly really all my, all my success has come down to is I was up against huge companies with huge mm. budgets. I was up against massive influencers like the celebrities of of the of the course creation world when i started um in this space so many years ago and i just thought i can't outspend them because i didn't have the money i mm. can't out market them because i don't have those big marketing budgets for for ads and things mm. but i thought to myself i can certainly out help them mm. and so i went to market just with the the concept of i am going to create every possible answer that i can possibly come up with yeah, to help wow. my target audience i'm gonna go out there and just be the most helpful person in the world because helping people is free and all i mm. needed was my internet connection and just dedication to create content produce videos write blogs and be present and answer people's questions and honestly that is exactly what created my success was just the strategy is be the most helpful person in your industry. It works. Yes, I love that. I think that's a good message for, for everyone listening there. Like if you take nothing else out of this platform, if you don't, out of this podcast, if you don't register for, for Textmatics, like if all you do is just follow that tip there, I think it's a good podcast. Love it. And you are definitely going to want to register for Techmatics <laughs> on the free trial. Uh, we, uh, we've got some really exciting stuff to share with you today. And um, you know, John and I were just having a chat at the beginning. We want to just have a little talk about tech today because i think one of the biggest things Donna, as you know it's always in your facebook group people are always going in what tech do i need yeah. starting an online <laughs> that's business. number one i oh guarantee go, go in my group at, at any particular time that question's been asked in the last week it is. And it's, it's insane. And it is overwhelming. And it was overwhelming enough when you and I started so many years ago, mm. John. I mean, look at it now. You, you go online and there are so many options for tech. Do you need a website? Do you need email marketing software? You need a social media planner. You need a calendar booking system. You need an ads platform. You need the graphic design software. I mean, it just is endless. And this is why so many people, I think, don't get started because we've got a passion for our thing. We love our topic. But this tech stuff becomes so overwhelming. You still Start adding up all of the costs of all of these different pieces that you need to make that business work properly. And it just gets too much in terms of cost and overwhelm and the learning curve. And this is why I sat down after years of being in this field, being a registered certified Thinkific expert, a registered certified active campaign expert, a registered certified Podia, Learn Worlds expert, all of them. I've been an affiliate and expert with for many years. And went, this is just getting too hard. I need so many tools to make my business work, to put it on autopilot, to deliver a great customer experience. The costs are adding up. People are getting so tangled in this snake's wedding of zaps and connections. I went, I'm just going to start something else. I'm going to create my own. <laughs> so as a course creator, I've created a platform for course creators, for online business owners that strip away every single other piece of software you're ever going to need. I am talking one place to run your whole online business, including courses and not just courses, and one monthly subscription, which by the way is cheaper than most of them out there. And that, my friends, is what Techmatics is. And we're going to talk today about comparing some of the different features, the different types of platforms that are out there, because we're not just here to slam tools down your throat, right? I think everyone needs to understand and have an informed opinion knowledge base before they go out and get softwares so we're going to talk about the different types of ones that are out there today the different ways you can sell your courses specifically so that you can have a better idea about which one might work for you love it let's dive into it the first one i've got on my list here sarah is udemy or any kind of marketplace udemy skillshare i think there's a few of them out there um how does techmatics compare against it what are the positives what are the negatives what are your thoughts there Nice. So yeah, any of you who um, who've been in the course creation space for more than five minutes will probably have heard <laughs> of Udemy. And it's actually where I started, Jono. Mm. It's, uh, it's where my first course was published. I was really excited to find this platform that back then was very easy to upload content mm. to. It didn't have uh, very many rules or regulations, mm. uh, and it allowed the early adopters of uh, online course creation to get very successful very fast. I think I have about 60,000 enrolled students on my Udemy courses yeah, up there wow. at the moment. But what I found very quickly were there were some significant limitations. I was going, mm. yay, you know, I'm getting these students pouring in. Udemy was promoting me. I was kind of their poster girl for a little while. <laughs> I was like rolling 
going in 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 the early adopter phase and i realized when it came down to well i want to create more products i want to communicate with these people i want to sell other things to them that you can't get their email addresses. Mm. I realized very quickly when Black Friday and Christmas sales came along that Udemy <laughs> were discounting my really hardly produced amazing courses that I went to university for years to study the content for. And they were selling them for like five, six dollars. And I was only getting about one dollar of that per sale because Udemy were doing the marketing. They can take up to 90 percent of that sale. And so I was thinking, well, you know, I'm putting all this work into this amazing program. I actually ended up taking my uh, my bigger courses down from the Udemy platform because I thought that there has to be another way whereby I can obtain these email addresses. They're my customers. I want them to be my customers, but they can't be if I can't communicate with them. And I also want to make sure as a course creator that, you know, we are getting that money that we deserve for our hard work, our labor and our years worth of expertise that have accumulated up to the point by which we can start teaching it to other people. And so the biggest lesson I kind of want to share about platforms like Udemy is this, they are not bad right? Mm. They, they have a place mm. in your business model. And this is only my opinion. It's not the right opinion. It's not the wrong opinion. It's just an opinion, right? So this is my perspective of how I see this. My perspective of this is places, marketplaces like Udemy are a bit like the supermarkets of the world in that if you're selling bread on that supermarket shelf, you're gonna probably get customers, right? Yeah, I don't know how many times I've walked in to get milk and I've come out with a trolley of other stuff because I happen mm -hmm. to walk past it. It is an amazing opportunity to get found. At the time of recording this today, I believe there's about 40 million Udemy students, wow. right? That is a lot of students who are actively walking through that supermarket every day looking mm. for courses. So it's an amazing place to put your smaller courses, your mm. lead magnet type courses, give people an excellent taste of your skills, expertise, and some forward movement. Because what you are allowed to do on Udemy is in your instructor profile, link your social media profiles, link your website. And if you do deliver good content, they are going to come and follow you elsewhere. And obviously, once they come and independently follow you from those locations, then of course, you can bring them into your business ecosystem and make them your customers instead of Udemy's customers. And so of course, as I said, there 60,000 odd people have found me through Udemy. Now, that's a lot of business. So I definitely am not poo pooing the platform. I just say, make sure you use it strategically and not put your bigger courses on there. So in terms of techmatics and comparing it to Udemy, they are very, very different platforms. Mm. Techmatics is a platform that you own. My favorite way of describing Techmatics is it's a bit like having a WordPress website in that, and more in not in terms of how it looks or feels, but in terms of the concept, right? If you were to go and build a website, you would get some kind of platform like WordPress. It is an empty shell that has various features and functions in there. You can then do whatever you want with it. It's your URL. It's your branding. It's your site. You are completely responsible for it. You own everything that happens with that site. So Techmanix is the same. You can connect your own URLs to it. You can completely brand it as yours. And that becomes your system, your customers, and it's importantly, your products and your money that goes in through that system. Udemy is just the supermarket shelf that you can pop your products on and just simply take a commission, if you like, for the free marketing. That's how I like to describe it. I was going to say, I've never heard someone give such a succinct and powerful summary of Udemy in, in four or five minutes. I feel like you've done this before. It's a time or through a time or two, right, Sarah? Once or twice <laughs> as my living and breathing for the last decade or so. <laughs> I'll just I'll just add my I agree everything Sarah said. The one thing I'm gonna add on top is I think as a new course creator, Udemy can look like a better option than it actually is. I think it can be quite juicy and quite attractive if you're a new course creator and you're like, oh, I can go on Udemy and they're going to do all my marketing. That's fine. You know, I'm going to do that. And, you know, I don't care if they take 50%. That's great. But there's still like no, you might make a couple, you might, there's no guarantee either way, but you'll probably make a couple sales, but you know, like 10, 20 bucks, like that's what it could be. So I think as a new course creator, it can look really attractive, but it might not be as attractive as, as what it is. I think that's important to consider. The next one I've got on my list, Sarah, is self-hosting. So let's say these are the plugins like maybe Learn Dash or Lifter LMS. You know, a, a new course creator might be looking at this and being like, well, hold on, Sarah, you know, 
Well, wait, can we mention prices on, on Tech Maddox here? Or? Absolutely. Yeah, cool. Let's be completely that, open and honest here. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> they might be like, right, you know, Sarah, you're telling me that the special at the moment is, is 100 bucks a month. You know, I can get one of these plugins for 100 bucks a year or a couple hundred bucks a year, whatever it may, may be. Why would I go with Tech Maddox if I can do that? What's your take there? Yeah, great point. So the, um, having basically plugins that connect into the back end of your websites to be able to sell and host courses from is another way that you can sell your courses. So when you hear people talking about self hosting and plugins, we're basically like talking about an app, some of them are free, some of them are paid that you connect into the back of your website and enables you to upload course content and sell your courses. Now they are great, by the way, they're very effective, they do exactly what they say they, they're, they're going to do. Um, but I and I'm using a big but here because I want you guys to be informed. I tried this myself too. It was actually my first step after you to me when I was like, I want to have my own stuff, I want it on my own platform. And what I found very quickly was a couple of things that may have improved since but I are still certainly risks that you need to be aware of and consider before you go down this road number one is that you do need to be very techy to use mm -hmm. a plugin now some people say no you don't right but compared to ready-made LMSs mm -hmm. ready-made course platforms you do have to be fairly confident with a plugin for a website and a couple of reasons for that one is you're pretty much on your own right you've got to upload and install that plugin you've got to manage and maintain that plugin you need to probably hire a web developer to actually make sure that that's customized you might need some javascript or css coding in there you're going to need someone who knows what they're doing with web design and development to actually make that function if things go wrong if you've got errors you do need to hire again people to help you sort that out there's no tech support or customer service with the majority of them okay and those that do fairly limited because you're using the app not the service of a company, right? So it's very different there. The other major difference is that when you're using a plugin, there are heaps of other hidden costs. So the plugin itself might be 50 bucks a year or 100 bucks a year or something very, very cheap like that. But you very quickly find out you're then going to need to have video hosting. Now, if you're doing lots of courses and you start uploading those videos to your website's video library, your website will crash very quickly. Your speed, before. oh my gosh, your loading yeah. speed is going to absolutely die. You are going to rank massively drop down in the Google rankings because site speed is a factor inside the, um, the system that uh, determines your site's credibility on the front page. You also um, are just quite simply going to just have the lowest loading speed and experience for your students ever. Um, this actually happened to me. So I started uploading videos it, and the whole site crashed and completely corrupted my entire site because I had so much content on it. The other major thing is if you go, okay, right, well, no problem. I will then externally host my videos. So this is where people are then having to pay quite significantly high costs for things like the Amazon server, Amazon video hosting, Wistia video hosting, Vimeo video hosting. They're two things you now have to connect together and two things you've got to pay for. You also need to communicate with your students and email them. The only way you can do that is if you have some kind of email marketing software to A, make you compliant and legal with things like GDPR, anti-spam laws, to create those records, that customer record management you're going to need to pay for that externally and i'm a very big active campaign and have been a, an expert with, with active campaign for years but with a list my size and your list grows pretty quickly in this online space i was starting to get to the stage where i'm paying thousands of dollars a month just for the active campaign element right <laughs> these costs start growing and before you realize it with a plugin you've got a slow site you're all on your own you're paying for web developers and web designers and you have all of these other costs to actually be able to run the business when you're using a plugin. So I'm not saying don't use one, but for me, that is why I very, very quickly moved away from the self-hosting plugin system method of running my online course business. Once again, I've never heard someone explain it so succinct and so well in four or five minutes. I think you've, you've had that spiel before as well, right, Sarah? Once or twice. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I, everything Sarah said, agree. Same thing happened to me. I think I went click funnels as an in-between. I, I started with an ebook. That was my first course. And then I, I started using click funnels for marketing. And I was like, oh, I can actually host a course on here. So I went on there. But at the time, their course hosting was so bad. It was great for marketing, but for coursing, it, courses, it sucked. And I was like, oh, I can get it on my own website. This doesn't look too hard. Paid someone on Fiverr a 100 bucks or something to, to do it. And then within a couple months, it crashed. I can't remember the, the reasoning why, 
But yeah, the website crashed. And the down point with that as well, now, because I do it a bit, di- I do it a bit different, but the, the down point that is really bad with that side of things when you went with me anyway, when my website crashed, I couldn't get new students because no one could buy because the website crashed, but also my current students who were like, um, you know, who wanted to go and enroll, couldn't log in there because the website had crashed. So it got me both ways. So now I even leverage a bit and I, I sell off my website and host also, but that's a different um, yep. discussion yeah. there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, someone's going, oh, and even further still, a lot of people listening to this may not even have a website, Sarah. Fair enough. If you're already, you know, been running an, a business or an online business and you already have a website mm-hmm. and you're pretty good with developing, okay, maybe you can do it. If you got one course, maybe. But for someone that like, doesn't even have a website yet it's kind of like well even to do that you need to then go and buy the domain and buy the website hosting and pay someone to do it so there's an, an extra step there so i'm yep yeah, i'm same page there now here's where it's going to get interesting i think most people listening to this won't be on udemy won't be self-hosting but a lot of people are going to be using platforms like teachable um thinkific not so much all in ones we'll get to that in a sec But um, I know in my Facebook group anyway, Thinkific's usually the number one still. Whenever I do a poll, hey, what do you use? It's usually Thinkific Kajabi. So, but let's even just speak with those sort of things, the online course platforms like Thinkific, Teachable. What's your take there? Yeah, excellent. And these these um, sort of self-standing learning management systems have been the primary ones that I have been recommending to new and growing course creators for years, for at least the last six, seven years. And the reason why is basically, guys, these are uh, pieces of software, software as a service, SaaS, basically, that you pay usually a monthly or yearly subscription for that are custom built for you to then go in and customize your own learning management system. You can usually create custom domains. They have fairly easy landing page builders on them to create the landing pages for your courses you can upload and host your courses inside those platforms really easily and they are built for absolute simplicity Mm. for course creators to be able to sell take money and automate the process of delivering and hosting their courses for others so i'm a really big fan of these and i really do think that these are an excellent option to go in and look into when it comes to creating your courses so as you've mentioned a couple there some of the biggest ones and most popular ones out there at the time of recording today have been um, you know thinkific they've been dominating the market for years they've even gone ipo now that's how huge they've got um, you've got your platforms like uh, learn worlds teachable podia um, they these guys are kind the ones that have been up there dominating the top of this industry for it for a number of years um and yeah they they all do everything really that you'd need to do to run a, a very basic level but and i say but again not to poo poo any systems but uh, they often require other softwares connected in either by direct integration or by Zapier or another, you know, Pabli or something like that to make the whole business that you're running actually work effectively. And of course, then again, the costs start increasing. Mm. Um, And for me, one of the biggest aspects to me moving over and creating my own all-in-one platform recently was not just that cost element but the fact that um, with these learning management platforms you don't have a lot of control over cost changing plan changing um, and I've seen platforms like Thinkific and so on um, not just singling out one business there you know unexpectedly they'll change their pricing mm. uh, and I've you know as a customer of Thinkific as well as an expert you know the pricing was changed on me with no warning many times and mm. that is for the you know for some businesses that's that's really hard um i think recently they actually reversed their pricing model you know they went from a fairly affordable and i thought very fair price to i think it almost doubled or something overnight and there were a lot of people that just couldn't take on that sudden increase in costs um and i think that's another thing that you're you're still not as much at the whim as you would be on a marketplace with these platforms but you still are a little bit you know, not knowing they go public, they go very big, very quickly, their companies end up becoming run by shareholders, whose Mm. core objective and focus is increasing profit and shares, right, rather than a business that's operating for and by the user, 
and has that user in mind. And so this for me is when I went, you know what, I'm, I'm really tired <laughs> of connecting heaps of stuff together, having hundreds of different subscriptions, mm -hmm. all of which keep in quite increasing in price based on my own growth and mm -hmm. then flip prices on me and plans on me without any forewarning or notice because those big fat pocket hungry people <laughs> sitting in uh, in share desks, you know, in some big faraway land with that are so far out of touch from the users that, you know, quite frankly, it's changing the experience in those platforms. Yes, uh, agree with that. And just to, I guess, reiterate there as well, the comparison to Techmatics is Techmatics is one. We don't need Zapier. We don't need email. We don't need landing page. Uh, whereas if we go with a, a teachable, a thinkific, a learn world, gr amazing at what they do. Yeah. Amazing um, for hosting a course, but you're probably going to also need to get active campaign, which, and, and this, the thing, this is where I think this can get tricked because this is where I got um, uh, stuck as well. When I started the online course space, it was kind of like, oh yeah, I'll go with teachable. It's 50 bucks a month or whatever it is. It's a bit, bit cheaper than Kajabi. So I'll, I'll go with that. Oh, hold on. Now I got to go with active campaign. Okay. There's, you know, 50 bucks there. Oh, okay. Now I got to go with Zapier. There's 50 bucks there. And then I kind of, and I'm like, well, hold on. Now I'm paying, and there's even more now, Sam card or whatever else I, I got as well. You know, now it's like, hold on, I'm paying 200 bucks a month with these things. Would have been better if I just went over there. And then each one of those increased because usually, I, I think the, um, the, I think there's two sides to this with the the online course side of things. The one is the multiple different things where it's like, right now I need to get this and get this and get this. And each one of those um, increases on top of that as well. And then there's also the tech side as well, where it's like, you need to know how to set up the apps and how to do it all that as well. Um, but I think where a lot of new course creators can get stuck with these ones is the initial rate looks really good. It's yeah. like, and, I th and they kind of go on and off with free versions or whatever, but you know, the initial one's like, oh yeah, 40 bucks for a, a course or whatever. You know, I can do that's no dramas. I'll do that. But then it's like, oh, hold on. I can't integrate anything with it. Yeah. And, oh, hold and on. then it's got That's limited number of students, <laughs> limited number of courses, then people, limited then, number of admins. I yeah. can't do, now I, but I, can't, I can't do subscriptions. Oh, you let me set up a membership. So, oh no, it doesn't do subscriptions. Oh, let me set up payment plan. Oh, it doesn't do payment plans. You know, and it's kind of like, and then yeah. you, you just keep getting, oh, I'll just upgrade to the, the hundred buck one. Cause now I can get more students. Oh, but now it doesn't do this. Now let me upgrade to the 200 buck one. And, okay. and they, they creep up really quick. And as Sarah mentioned, it's like, if you've got more, even if it was just one, it creeps up creep, uh, quick, mm -hmm. but if you've got multiple different ones and all of them come up. So yes, I agree with you there. Now, final one, and this will be interesting because, yeah, okay. So the final one is like all in one platform. So now Kajabi's, New Zendler's, that side of things there. Would you put Techmatics in that category, Sarah? Is it out of that category or what's your take there? Yeah, and there, there's uh, so there's this real new world that we're in now, like the new era of, of online learning, which let's face it is changing and growing to a dramatic speed, right? It's it's interesting actually. At the beginning of January 2020, I'd actually just had a baby; he was about three days old, and I released a report on what I foresaw the changes that were going to happen in the e-learning space. So I actually put this report together and predicted that quite a lot of change obviously was coming. Classroom training is never going to be completely replaced, but online learning is definitely going to boom. What I predicted would happen the next five to 10 years then happened in the next 18 months because of COVID. Well, yeah. And this, I think, you know, we've, we've seen a lot of my corporates and stuff that I was, I've been working with for a decade previously, wouldn't even consider online learning. I wouldn't consider any kind of online training whatsoever. You know, COVID came along, I'm there holding a baby right, in my heart. And I'm now working with all these corporates to try and get them online. Things are happening at breakneck speed. And I think those people who are not yet jumping online, um, you know, are really missing out on a huge amount of business. And just on that, before I do go into your question there, is the other thing I really want to enforce to people here is everyone seems to think that because lots of people are moving online, they're late to the boat. They keep thinking that I'm late, I'm behind, it's too late for me now. I want everyone just to just have a little moment and a little pause here to recognize and acknowledge the fact that the time of recording this over half of the world doesn't even have the internet yet. 
we have not even started with the level of potential that is available here. So if you get in now, you have a window of approximately two more years where you you are just, we are the first generation on the internet. You have this window to truly be, you know, one of these first pioneers of being in this space, even though it doesn't feel like it, even though it feels like you're behind. So when you're seeing these new softwares come up, it, you need to jump in now, guys, because this pioneering opportunity that you have to be at the front of this learning revolution is massive. And when we do have all of these other countries that don't yet have proper internet electricity connections, when they start coming onto the internet, your opportunity for growth and scale is going to be far beyond your wildest imagination and people don't stop breeding so your opportunities are never going to stop running out there is more than enough to go around and to keep us all sustained for the rest of time so i really want to bring that bit up at this stage because i think so many people go oh i'm just too late there's too much competition guys you are literally at the front of the race don't stand there and let everyone else run past you, <laughs> really. So with this kind of this new way of doing business, this all in one type of system, system and software. It's basically stripping away all of these additional pieces that we're having to pop on and attach and connect and zap to make one business work, right? You've got one business. Let's have one system. Let's have one freaking password and one monthly bill, right? That and one and you know what else there? One tab open. That's the other <laughs> thing. <as well. laughs> you know, I've got active campaign and your know, save card and you know, I think honestly, I'm always going to be a billion tabs kind of girl. Yeah, That's yeah, just yeah. how my brain works, right? But uh, but yeah, it's going to reduce some of those tabs at least, especially if you're a tab collector like us. Mm. Um, but basically, this is where you um, have, unlike those learning management systems, which are just the learning management system part, right? That is just one element to a successful online business in today's world. You need that LMS feature so that you can upload that content, those courses, those products, those eBooks, those guides, that subscription, that coaching program, whatever it is that you're running, that has to live somewhere and it has to be accessible by your students. That is one element of an online business. So if you're using the things like Thinkific and Learn Worlds and all those other platforms, you only have one part, one piece of the online business. If you want your online business to be successful, you need to have an online presence in the form of a website. Now, you don't have to, but if you want to be successful, you do need to, right? Because if people can't find you on Google, you simply don't exist. They're going to buy from the next person, right? So um, having a website is critical so that people can find you on the internet. Organic content, my students, the all 200,000 of them, by the way, only 11,000 of those came from paid ads. The rest of them came from organic marketing, people going to Google and typing in questions of which my stuff, me being the most helpful person in the world I could possibly be, comes up in search results, sends them to my website, sends them to my courses, right? So you need your website. You're going to need a blog so you can create that organic content. You are going to need some kind of appointment booking system so that people can book coaching calls with you, so that they can book paid appointments with you for whatever it is that you're doing, consulting, advice, guidance. Um, you are going to need on top of that a customer record management system this is your database your list of contacts that gives a record that shows you what do they do what notes do you want to make about them and like if you're coaching guys you should be keeping electronic notes inside a customer's record so that you can go back to those notes and records every time you communicate with them if you have staff which if you're growing, let's go for the goal of one day you might, right? Because this business is going to get to a point you'll need administration. Then they're going to want to be able to go into clients' records and see the communication history. You want to see their activity history. You're going to need that if you want to run an effective business. You're also going to want things like a sales pipeline or a customer journey. This maps out the stages of your sales process. What products do you have? What order? Do they go in if people are going to buy from you you know what are the lead magnets you have what stuff can they then purchase one after the other after the other in your business customer journey you're going to need to organize that that used to need things like hubspot you're going to need email marketing right when i buy something from you i expect to get an email that's going to send me my login information and the access to that product if you're really clever and smart you also should have a follow-up system that's going to check in with me make sure i'm completing your product make sure i'm enjoying it and that's going to send me regular contact communication 
on autopilot so that I stay a fan of yours and actually grow and want to keep buying from you in the future. Now, again, that would normally be things like active campaign, MailChimp, Drip, ConvertKit. You're going to need funnels, guys, landing pages. This is where you're going to detail your courses, your products, your offers, give that information that's actually going to sell it. It needs to have a checkout so that people can pay you, right? This stuff used to require WooCommerce, uh, payment gateways, um, click funnels. I too went down that road of paying three grand a year for something that was impossibly hard to use. Mm. And the, these things just keep adding up. And so this is why an all-in-one platform is an absolute game changer for your business because you don't just have that LMS, you have everything else you need all in the one place. And if you come to one like Techmatics, it has that all for a price that is way more affordable than just the LMS element that the other platforms are offering. And it's interesting, John, I actually had, I did a mail out to my list quite recently saying, you know, you've got until the end of December to lock in this price for life, right? The special offer we're doing. And someone came back and said, yeah, but Thinkific's free plan is free. And, I'll, <laughs> and Thinkific's lowest plan is, I think it was $49 or something. So, um, you know, I'm not paying $97 for yours when theirs is only $49. Um, clearly it's not cheaper, Sarah. And I actually had to go into this explanation of Thinkific mm. is just the LMS. You yeah. get one course, you get yeah. limited students, limited features and functions. For yeah. 97 bucks, you get way more than what's in Thinkific's enterprise yeah. plan yeah, yeah. just for the LMS part. All yeah. this other stuff's added on around the outside. I mean, this is a game changer for business. Mm. And honestly, John Owen, the reasons behind why I've decided to make this so affordable, considering the mind blowing features that it has, is because course creation and being online, being a course creator has created wealth, joy and everything for me way beyond my wildest imagination. And without sounding like a complete and utter douchebag, honestly, this is my way of giving back. Mm. Um, and I've even um, built and connected in my Pencils of Promise charity. That's my charity of choice. They build schools in locations around the world where access to education wouldn't otherwise be available. And we've actually committed to donating a percentage of our profits every single year to that charity All so right. that we can continue to give back in a humanitarian capacity because education does change lives. It's mm. changed my life as a girl who's come from a gypsy background. I shouldn't have even had an education, right? Right? went on to become the head of a university right as a, as a gypsy who shouldn't have even been schooled uh, it's changed my life beyond my wildest dreams and i know for a fact that me alone just one person from a spare bedroom has impacted the lives of millions directly and indirectly and i know that everyone else who goes out there and shares their knowledge absolutely can too and so i'm making a commitment that yes the price of this product and this program techmatics will go up from the 1st of january 2023 I mean, we do have to, to keep it running. I have a big support team behind the scenes who need to get paid wages, right? Yeah. Um, but I am I'm absolutely committing to make this the most feature rich and affordable platform on the market and keep it that way as far as is reasonably possible to keep this um, something that is going to enable as many educators, course creators and business owners as possible to go out there, make their dreams come true, make their mark in the world and create a ripple effect of changing lives from their own platforms too. Love it. I have one follow up question on that. It'll be a tricky one. So like now I'm just thinking specifically Kajabi and Techmatics, because there'll be a lot of people into this, which is like, nah, Kajabi is the gold standard. It's it's the best one out there. You've mentioned price. Last time I checked Kajabi, I think it was about 500 US a month. So even if they were equal, and I'm pretty sure Techmatics has um, way more features actually than what Kajabi does. But even if they were equal already, if you get on at the current special, it's a quarter of the pro, you know, a, a fraction of the price there. But what would you say is maybe the best feature Techmatics has Techmatics has or best one or two features that Kajabi doesn't? Oh, do you know what? There are so many. Mm. <laughs> there are so, and I think this is one of the interesting things that we as business owners need to understand what do we need to run our businesses because mm. each and every single one of us have different needs we have yeah, different stuff point. that we're selling we have different people that we're selling it to for some people simply having a place and a depository for their courses which on techmatics at the moment is unlimited is mm. and the unlimited number of course students is the most yeah. attractive feature maybe they've Good got point. tons and tons of leads pouring in and yeah. they need to have that unlimited contacts list to be able to grow their business in that particular way yeah. other people it may be funnels landing 
landing pages. Maybe they've got an e-commerce store and they've got millions of different products. If they're using something like Shopify, you know, every time you add more products, more pages, you're getting charged more money. On Techmatics, you have unlimited funnels, unlimited websites and unlimited pages. So for someone else, that may be the core feature. Other people really focus on social media communication, DM mm. outreach and things like that. I was like hoping that. you were going to bring this one up because yeah, it's going to be my one. Yeah, and Techmatics actually in your inbox on your dashboard, it connects directly to your Facebook business page and your Instagram messenger. And it actually automatically sucks in those contacts into your inbox on your Techmatics account. So you can now manage all of those contacts, all of that communication from inside your CRM on the Techmatics dashboard. Can I jump in there a sec Game just to make sure I, I understand it or to explain the way I understand it for the, the listeners? It's essentially like, let's say you're in my database, Sarah, on Techmatics. Whether you send me an email, an Instagram message, a Facebook message, I'm just looking in that one thing there and I see all the communication, right? It's not like, oh, did I did I speak to, was that an Instagram or was that Facebook or was it an email? It's all in the one place, right? Correct. And the yeah. other cool thing about this, guys, is Techmatics has a free administration app. So you can go to the App Store on Google Play, Apple. You can actually download your Techmatics app for you as the admin. And you can actually go to your inbox on the app and you can communicate with anyone, whether it's via Facebook Messenger, Instagram Messenger, email, all of that communication will actually show up in your inbox from your Techmatics account and on the app on your phone. And that information and communication is all stored in that individual's customer record. Mm -hmm. So again, no matter who's talking to them, staff, virtual assistants, anything, everyone can see the entire communication history from all of those locations in one place. That is an absolute game changer. It has totally changed my business and my mm. admin mess behind the scenes for sure. Alone, absolutely mm. alone. And um, yeah, other things is um, like the being able to completely replace Calendly, Acuity, Scheduler, mm. any of those that you're using right now. Techmatics totally replaces those. You can create unlimited calendar types, unlimited calendar appointments. You have unlimited administrators, admin, sales team that can also create their own appointments and calendars. Um, and that again is something else that's not available on those other platforms it also does your ads management for you so no more having to log into meta for business right all of your data tracking cost per click lead per click all shows up inside the actual techmatic system itself so you can see how well your campaigns are working and that information updates all of your statistics for your business on your dashboard as well it's going to show you how many leads you've got what the value of those leads are in your sales pipeline um, it's going to show you what your conversion rates are and so much more it manages your reviews so those of you who have google my business it connects directly to that it also um, manages your social media reviews as well so it starts pulling all of those into one place sending automatic review requests to your customers if you choose to turn it on it's also a social media scheduler and social media planner so at the moment Techmatics directly account uh, connects to your facebook pages facebook groups instagram TikTok, youtube linkedin right all of these platforms now directly connect twitter's in there as well and um, so you can go in open up the calendar schedule all of your social media posts upload all of your content and it will automatically distribute to those platforms for you on the dates and times that you select it even allows you to pre-schedule the first comment that you put on all of those posts as well so if you popped up a video for instance you're promoting your online course you can go and check in the first comments below to get the link right you can actually pre-schedule that comment to go through from techmatics as well that is a tip of the iceberg guys it does forms assessments opt-ins pop-up forms and so much more um there are a lot of demos that are available and i know uh Jono, that you've got uh, the link in above the description below the description so notes for everyone to actually get a 14-day free trial so please go and check out Jono's link because the best way to see for yourself is to get the free trial and Jono's got a 14 day one for you guys to actually go in and grab and on top of that once you're in your free trial there's a whole entire online course for you on how to use all of the techmatic features how to set up your account and if you use Jono's link you also will get a completely free 60 minute onboarding session on zoom with one of my tech experts who will help you set up your account connect your own custom domain and connect all your integrations your payment gateway and get your account up and running for you a real life person we have 24 hour support 
support. We have people all over the world, so not just here in Australia where Jono and I am based. We actually have um, tech experts based globally so that you guys can pick calls and onboarding calls um, in any time zone. So make sure you grab Jono's link to actually get all of those extra benefits. Yes, and I'll just piggyback on some of the things Sarah said there as well. Towards the back end, there might be a lot of people listening to this that are like, oh, that's a lot of stuff. I don't know if I, I need all that stuff. But hey, at the moment, it's 97 bucks. It's kind of like, even if you don't, you even if, as Sarah mentioned, even if you just say, you know what, I'm happy to pay 97 bucks and just get unlimited courses and unlimited students. It's probably still the best on the market just for that there. It could be worth it for that. And you never know when you are going to use these things. If you're thinking, oh, but I don't want to, you know, have a blog or whatever. Okay, maybe you will. And even like, some of the, um, I do a lot of phone sales with my fitness education or, you know, I've got a, a um, yeah, do a simplified version. I do a lot of Facebook ads and, and, um, phone sales. And I know a lot of people listening to that probably won't do that, um, at the moment, but if you ever do, I can't explain how amazing the program is for that, where it's con- the amount of automations that are set up. So it's, it's like, you know, someone goes on there and they, if they buy, they get this, if they don't buy, they get that. And then, um, yeah, they go into the, the like, it also replaces my Google sheets, you know, where I used to have to go on Google sheets and okay, how many times have I called this person and here and here and here. And then like, all right, great. If I sign someone up over the phone, how do I get like, all of that is, is in there but anyway, getting a bit, yeah. bit distracted. Um, so yeah. there's just one question I like to finish off with. So, or two actually. So I'll give you the, the second last one. You're obviously a mentor for plenty of people out there that want to get better at online courses, want to create more online courses, want to sell more online courses. I'm curious to hear who your biggest mentors have been. And if you can answer in the online course space, and if you can answer this in three different ways, if you can give us a paid mentor for someone that you've paid money to, you've done their coaching program or their course, uh, an unpaid mentor. So you haven't paid them money, but you're listen to their podcast, you know, follow them on Instagram, whatever it may be, um, and a book. And you can give one of your, your own a plug if you want here uh, that you recommend every course creator should read. So mental paid, unpaid and book. I find that very, very difficult. Um, I've actually been very disappointed with a lot of the larger fee programs I've paid for mm. in the past and um, actually can give more recommendations of where not to go, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> However, I will pick up somebody uh, who I did pay for a program with um, who I still recommend to this day. It's actually one of the very few people I recommend is Jeff Walker's product mm. launch formula. So yeah, I took took his product launch formula program quite a few years ago and um, I just found it really motivating. Um, I, I ended up adjusting it. I didn't use his exact formula, yep. but I adjusted it to suit me, my model, my business and my style. And I've gone on to make hundreds of thousands of dollars um, using mm. his launch process and, and being able to create a version uh, for my own that quite frankly, probably would have taken me a lot longer to have come up with. So I still recommend him. I, I think he's a really nice bloke. He's the original granddaddy of online mm. marketing, really. And I do think he's one of the few out there that does it in, in a very kind, gentle, genuine and authentic and authentic way um in terms of free honestly i couldn't possibly pick one person i am an absolute gannet for knowledge and learning and i think one of the reasons that i've been so successful is because i constantly stay humble enough to know i don't know everything mm-hmm. and that i need to keep learning in order to stay uh you know up to date for my own my own benefit and the people who are learning from me so i am just one of those course junkies that um i have honestly found probably some of the the free courses and cheap courses yeah. I've taken on Udemy, for instance, or YouTube yeah. videos I've seen um, have sometimes given me better tips than the ones I've paid thousands of dollars for. So yeah. for me, I would honestly just recommend every, if you've got time, when you're doing the laundry, when you clean the house, mm. when you walk in the dog, when you're on the treadmill, listen to audiobooks, listen mm. to podcasts, take it all in. If you take one thing away and you can adjust that and, and implement it in your business, you know, it's an improvement. So that for me is just all of it. <laughs> Everything that's out there, it doesn't have to be expensive the free courses the free youtube channels the audio books uh go and grab them give, give it give us a couple of your favorites sarah your, uh, give, you, give your own a plug as well so say say podcasts a couple of good well, podcasts. obviously we have jono's amazing course creators community podcast which is fabulous uh we have the course creators podcast which uh, i have actually neglected a little while <laughs> been too busy building technology uh mm. for the time being um but uh i honestly can't possibly think of one off the top of my head right now or youtube so. instagram give us one 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 i'm gonna pick you... i'm gonna pick youtube absolutely it is the free education platform mm. on the internet um so youtube 
YouTube all the way, definitely my favorite. And I've even gone to the extreme of getting YouTube premium because I travel a lot uh, to speak mm. at conferences. So I found that having YouTube premium allows me to download loads of learning and loads of content. And I usually sit and watch TED Talks, if I'm honest, on them mm. uh, when I'm sat on a plane flying. In terms of books, um, I might have to give you a couple of answers to this one. I'm a complete book addict. I read a couple a week. Um, however, I think if you're looking at changing your profit and you want money, um, I'm going to pick jointly probably profit first mm -hmm. because that really changed how I operated my business mm -hmm. and also a uh, hundred million dollar offers mm -hmm. because they are pretty, that one's pretty good for getting you to really think about is what I'm offering actually complete and utter no brainer for my people. Mm -hmm. And in terms of spiritually as well, I think one of the things that might come down to my success, I've mentioned that I'm a gypsy, um, really spiritually staying in touch with yourself is what I'm doing enjoyable. Do I love who I'm being? Do I love waking up every day and feeling full and fulfilled. I mean, not every day is easy. Some days you're freaking exhausted, right? But generally speaking, are you the majority of the time happy in what you're doing? Um, I read a, a book a few years ago that really helped me shift where I was at. It was actually when I was running a university, amazing job, loved it, best job ever, but I was really feeling out of alignment. And this book called The Untethered Soul by Michael Singer really helped me kind of go, do you know what? I have literally got my dream job that I've spent my entire life working for. And it's not what I love doing. So I quit a very amazing job. I stood down when my tenure was finished, handed the throne to somebody else and went back to work for myself in my spare bedroom with my snail slippers on because I found that I got more joy from doing that. Whatever you're doing right now, you're exchanging your whole life for. And that book just really helped me um, kind of look at that and wake up a little bit as to what I loved. Love it. Love all of those tips. Well, I'll give those a summary there. So Jeff Walker's name, because I asked that question, I asked these questions to every guest, right? So Jeff mm -hmm. Walker's name is definitely one of the most popular that comes up there. Um, and no one's got a bad word to say, you know, it's like, um, yeah, one of the most recommended there. Uh, YouTube, yeah, I'm a huge YouTube fan. I don't, I got premium when they had Cobra Kai. You had to get premium to watch Cobra Kai. Then that's moved, that's moved to, to Netflix. So I'm just back to the basic one. Um, Profit First. Yeah, that's another book that always gets recommended. Um, it's a, such a game changer. So I recommend yeah. everyone read that. Definitely. And yeah, $100 million offers. I think that, Sarah, is I'd put that over any course I've ever done. Yeah. Right? I literally think um, Alex Hormozzi could maybe charge $5,000 for that put it yeah. in a course and I wouldn't be disappointed. If it's I paid $5,000 and, and got the content in that book, I'd be happy with it. So I, I think it's, it. I think it's the best book I've ever read. It is. And you know what's funny is when I was listening to that book, I've actually got a pair of waterproof headphones, right, that you can swim with. I love swimming. Swimming and walking are my favorite exercises. And so I had this like little headset on. I was like swimming in my local pool. And I thought, oh, I'm going to listen to this new book that I've downloaded. So I was listening to the audio book while I was swimming. I ended up swimming for about three hours straight because yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I can't stop <laughs> listening to this book. Like, <laughs> yeah. I was just me and Alex swimming away. Yeah. It's <laughs> it was excellent. I, I think it's life changing, and also like that. So I, I've um, been following Hormozzi for a while because he used to be a gym guy, right? Yeah. And his gym, he speaks about a lot in his podcast. That gym launch, like that was amazing. Like he changed the fitness industry yeah. with 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 that. So I've been following, and then I saw him kind of you know um, get away from gym stuff and into general entrepreneur stuff, and I'm like, oh, this will be interesting. And yeah, best best book I've ever read. And mm -hmm. I, I met him last year. I went sorry this year. I went to traffic and conversion summit and he was speaking and I'm like my whole, the, the major, if I can get a selfie with him, this conference is made. I don't care about any of the info. Yeah. If I get a selfie with him, I'm happy. You know, I got it. So that was awesome. Life goals, John. Life goals. Yeah. Yeah. Well, podcast with Sarah Codner and selfie with um, Alex Holmosey. What else do you need? Life right? is complete. Isn't it just? Exactly. <laughs> um, Sarah, look, that's pretty much all we got time for today. That was awesome i'm sure um you know everyone's going to be like all right let me check out tech matrix uh, tech matrix and i'll put the link down in the, the show notes so two follow-up questions number one someone wants to follow you let's say they're not ready for tech matrix yet but they want to follow you what's your best social media platform or where do they go um and then secondly if anything you want to finish off with or anything i forgot to ask you 
Uh, cool. No, thank you. Well, because I've done such a good job over the years of making sure I've got uh, my name on the internet, type in Sarah Cordoner mm. onto the internet and you will absolutely find me and all of my social media profiles there. I'm very active on Facebook, just like Jono's incredible Facebook group, which if you are not in yet, you need to go and join. What's the name of that, Jono? Uh, Course Creator Community. I'm not Love Mr. It. Creative. It's just like Sarah is with Sarah Cordoner, just Course Creator Community. Love it. And uh, yeah, mine is called Entrepreneur to Edupreneur Course Creators. That's a Facebook group you can go and uh, come and hang out in as well. And of course, if you want to um, just follow me on, yeah, so my, my Facebook will come up when you when you Google it, sarahcordner.com. <laughs> You'll find everything there. And I completely forgot what your next question was. Anything I forgot to ask you, but should have? So I forgot to ask, but you asked me if I forgot to be asked. This is hilarious. Yeah. Um, I actually can't think of anything else right now at all. Clearly, I'm in like brain fart stage. Um, but so, no, honestly, I think the one closing comment is the only regret I have in my business, despite, you know, the mistakes I've made and big learning curves I've been on, is that I just wished I started sooner. And I remember sitting back thinking, I'm not ready yet. I, you know, I, I don't look like this yet or um, I don't know enough. I've got to do more research. I haven't got enough money. My background isn't correct. I don't have the right resource. I haven't got the right equipment. I'm not confident enough. I'm terrified of looking at the camera lens. Uh, and I just had every single excuse you can possibly imagine. Um, and I kind of sit here and go, if I'd started when I initially thought of starting, I'd be 10 times more successful than I am now. <laughs> so I think that you have to just remind yourself, if you're thinking about starting your business, you're thinking about creating a course or a digital product, the only way you're going to figure it out is to start doing it. The only way people are going to find you is if you start putting yourself out there. The only way you're going to make money is if you start selling things. And the only way you're going to change people's lives is if you start changing your own. So go and do it. I love it. Awesome. Sarah Cordner, thanks for your time. My pleasure.